Uh, our three, three main crops that we farm are rice, uh, corn, and soybeans. Uh, we also have some oats this year that we've contract grown, so uh, we'll, we'll try just about anything, but that's our, our main staple crops. Input costs have definitely affected our decision making uh, even back when we kind of started hearing about this towards the end of last year, you know, first part of this year. Uh, we went through and, and probably had four or five different scenarios of what are we going to plant here, what are we going to do, uh, and, and that all those conversations were based around input cost. Uh, we've got situations where some chemicals are three, four, five, sometimes more times than that, you know, more expensive than what we were paying last year. Uh, and, and there's also situations we're facing right now with, with shortages of even being able to get a supply of the chemicals. Um, on you know, and, and some chemicals we haven't been able to get a price for yet, and uh, companies are telling us until the product is actually on the floor of their their building, they're not going to give a price. So that's it's really difficult to budget and kind of make some of those decisions when you really don't know what the price of the products you're going to use are going to be. Uh, as far as the seed size, I, seed side, I think we're pretty good shape. We seem to be able to get the the seed products that we want. Well, we're, you know, we're sitting here the last week of February and we've got most of our seed locked in. So I think we've got what we're going to plant uh, pretty much figured out. All that being said, if we can't get the chemicals and, and things that we need, uh, you know, for, for those crops, it's going to be very difficult and we may have to make some changes. I think everybody's just kind of in a wait and see. We're, we're, Everybody kind of has an idea what they want to do, but if we're having product shortages and things like that, we're going to have to make some tough decisions and maybe pivot to something else in the middle of the year that we really didn't want to expect or, or want to do. Well, in, in agriculture, uh, in, in, a, in a row crop operation, margins are always slim. Uh, and some folks see the commodity prices have increased, which they have some. Uh, but, it, but in turn, our, our input prices have probably doubled that increase that the, that the price has gone up. So, uh, you know, we're sitting here still with we're struggling with, with margins and, and how we're going to make a crop this year, make it come out uh, at the end uh, due to those fluctuations uh, in our input prices and transportation prices. Uh, all those things affect, you know, just like everybody else, even just trying to go to the grocery store and buy something, those same things affect us too. So it's going, it's going to be a difficult year. Um, and, and like I said, the, the supply shortages are really, really going to affect us uh, pretty hard. So hopefully we'll just uh, we'll do our best and, and see what we can do and try to make another one.